I know they say like names are the kiss of death for uh, tattoos, but it's my last name too, right? You know, it was so funny that so many people had so many questions about your new tattoo. Did you <laughs> have any idea that things that people would have such a reaction to this? No, it was completely taken out of context mm -hmm. and the whole meaning of it was blown way out of proportion. And so obviously you saw, I took it down. Like we woke up the next morning and it was like so much negativity surrounded by something that was meant for my fiance and meant with so much love. So we took it down, which then stirred up more controversy. Mm -hmm. But you know, I don't like negativity. I don't like negativity on my page. I don't like to read negativity. It really upsets me. And um, you know, so I'd rather just take it down and, and move on from that. But I'm glad that like, I got to clear up the story last mm -hmm. week. Um, I did an interview and I got to clear up like why I did it, the meaning behind it. And um, so, yeah, it's just, it, it's ridiculous to be honest. Yeah, no, totally. It is ridiculous. But like, yeah, you know, if you could explain to us like why, um, like the meaning behind it and why you did it. And then is, will he be getting, yes, ma'am, uh, Mrs. El Musa tattooed <laughs> on him? <laughs> We've actually talked about that. And cause like, I, you know, I got it and he's like, oh, I'm going to get your name. And so I'm like, okay, well, what name are you going to get? I don't know if he will, to be honest, but you know, maybe he'll get it in the same spot. I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> You know, it's something cute we do around the house. Like, it's like, you know, daddy's the boss and Heather's the boss. And so he'll say something and I'm like, yes, sir. And then I'm like, yes, sir, Mr. El Musa. And he'll say, yes, ma'am, Miss El Musa. And it's just something we cute, um, something cute. And, you know, it's, it's going to be my last name. I know they say like names are the kiss of death for uh, tattoos, but it's my last name too, right? Yes. So mm -hmm. it was just something sweet for him. I wanted to show him. I mean, obviously he knows how in love I am, but it was a cute Valentine's Day present for him. He's the hardest person to buy for. So this is something special that can never be bought. Definitely. And I'm sure he absolutely loved it. Oh, he loved it. Yeah. yeah. I him. I made it really romantic and it was a really special night for us. Yeah, totally. And you also just recently upgraded your engagement ring. I mean, I didn't think it could get any more beautiful, but it did. I know. It's, you know, and, and like I, I told you earlier, I wasn't one to plan a wedding and I never envisioned my wedding, but I was someone that always saved wedding rings. Yeah. I'm not kidding. For like the last 10 years, I have all these rings saved in my phones of designs and styles that I want. And it was a gold emerald cut. Mm -hmm. And that's why he, he got me a gold emerald. I love gold, gold band with emerald cut mm -hmm. uh, diamond. And he had the idea of designing the rest of the ring together. But I was like, it's so stunning already. Like what else can we add to right. it? And he came up with the idea of adding diamonds around the band. And I'm like, I don't want it to take away from the stone. Like it's so beautiful. And it just enhanced it so much more. And like, who doesn't love more diamonds, right? <laughs> There's never, you can never have enough diamonds. Are um, either one of you a bridezilla at all? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think like, that's exactly what I don't want. Yeah. Um, I could probably have the more potential to be a bridezilla, but not really. I, I, I don't want that at all. But I think as far as like just stress that happens from a wedding. Yeah. Um, and I'm so busy that managing one more thing and micromanaging, that's why like, you know, I need someone and a wedding kind of efficient on top of it can just kind of see my vision and take charge because I don't have time to micromanage and I don't want the stress of having to do that because I have so many things between the kids and, and work and real estate and everything I'm doing. I can't pile on more, more things and uh, I don't want to be a bridezilla, so I want to keep the stress away. <laughs>